The Promise of Eden, a devotional for the seasons of Advent, Christmas, and Epiphany, produced by Northside Church. Monday, December 26th, is the second day of Christmas. Our scripture passage today comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 32. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God. Pray with me, Simeon's words. Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, dismiss now your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and to the glory of your people, Israel. Amen. Christmas isn't over. Merry Christmas. Sometimes the space that God prepares for hope can seem awfully empty as time slowly drips by. Or, at least, I imagine this is how the righteous and devout Simeon felt from time to time. After all, he had been waiting with hope and expectation for who knows how long. Yet he received a promise from the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. For Simeon, the promise from God opened a space for him to hope. And so that's what he did. He hoped, and he waited, and he waited, and he waited. And then, one day, moved by the same Spirit that had made him this promise, Simeon went to the temple in Jerusalem. I wonder if he had any idea what he was about to experience. I can picture it now. Simeon wandering around the temple courts, perhaps lost in his thoughts or maybe in prayer, Folks seeing him and whispering, oh, there's Simeon again. Poor old man. What was the expression on his face when he saw Mary and Joseph walk in? How did he know that this child was the one? How did those around him respond when he took the baby Jesus into his arms and began praying and saying that the hope and promise had been fulfilled and that he could die in peace now? Who knows? But what I can say for certain is that this space God had prepared for hope in Simeon's life did not remain barren or empty. And the time Simeon spent in faithful expectation was not wasted or in vain. That day in the temple, everything came to fruition. God rooted in Simeon's life the very word of God promised, just as God does today with us through Jesus Christ. God never fails to come through, no matter how chaotic and slow things may appear to us. Are we ready and willing to faithfully wait in the space that God has prepared for hope, Northside Church?